a distinctly human error. Signal is stable. This frequency will continue to remain open. Am I feeling I've been left behind? Phase to phase with your host Drew and Marcus. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Yeah. Uh, today we're going to be uh, serving you guys up some hot info regarding um, this week's topic, which is uh, designated fake news. <clears throat> As uh, you're going to be coming to find out a little bit later, uh, it, it happened before, but it kind of died down. Kind of technology and culture and things like that kind of like kept it in check for a second, yeah. and then again, and that little thing called accountability. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That's that's <laughs> that, that, that's a mystical thing that I guess used to exist, you know, in the American justice system. So, um, yeah, it's just super important. It's kind of gone uh, off the rails, as it were, lately. Super hardcore. Yeah. And um, um, to people though that may have just been like tuning into this phenomenon, they might have thought that it was being perpetrated by a single man. <laughs> uh, however, unfortunately... Or rather, the rest of the world yeah. being being uh, exposed by a single man. Yeah, 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 for real. That's kind of how I see it, is that like people that are starting to pay attention mm. are really upset, and they absolutely should be. But they... F- they uh, f- this is my opinion. They feel that like this is the origination of this because mm-hmm. they've just discovered it. It is not a new phenomenon. No, at not all. even kind of. Unfortunately, anybody that's been paying attention to the political landscape for any length of time uh, know that all politicians lie. Newsflash, guys. Like, <gasps> uh, right? And uh, you know, and 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 they don't just like exaggerate. They don't just like hyperbole. They just straight up lie. They sometimes like create things <laughs> that are lies in order to push other things that they can like get done for their administration or whatever sure. make them look good whatever um yeah so we're gonna go through kind of uh uh super brief like history we're gonna go over some terms to kind of get everybody on the same uh page relatively and uh then we'll kind of uh, get into a handful of um influential and culturally relevant fake news stories of, of our time ish just to kind of uh, give everybody a, a taste so that kind of ultimately at the end of this, hypothetically, somebody listening to this could gather up all the information that we're going to be presenting here and uh, hopefully be able to apply that now to their everyday life so that when they are watching the news, mm-hmm. hopefully they're not just watching one, and you know, and then they can kind of you know listen and hear, and be like, wait a Readjust minute, readjust your spectacles. Yeah, yeah. Is that what is that true, yeah. or is that just like kind of true, or they just you know, is there any reason why they might like, you know what I mean? Like, just get yeah. you thinking. They're just going, okay, by what now? Okay. <laughs> so we begin this episode, star date twenty three forty five sixty one point nine. You might turn on the news and see that there's these these young punk kids right. wearing smug. the smug, yes, smug, smug very smug. Fuckers. Wearing their trademark uh, "Make America Great Again" hats, Maga. right? In, and uh, there was a Native American who was doing a, he was banging his drum uh, in the streets of DC, doing like a ceremonial right chant, or right? Something. Yeah. And uh, this ki- these kids, specifically this one, the image burning everyone's mind is just these last like three or four seconds of this one kid just giving him this. Awful smirk, and uh, of course you should be enraged by this. The South Park like shitty and grin, upside uh, down triangles, yes. looking like. <laughs> and of course your mind immediately goes to, "Wow, what a what a piece of crap!" What a fucking prick. totally totally making fun of this. He was what is he like fifty or sixty? He's an he's, Native American. He's elderly. Yeah. yeah, not like you know, not like in like a wheelchair or nothing. Right. But he's, he's definitely on the old side for sure. Yeah. And so that's that's the image that all these major outlets are running, and you know everybody's immediately up in arms and going so far as to even you know threats of violence for all of these crazy things. Doxing, and, <clears throat> yeah, crazy Twitter feeds and people and we'll saying in, things like you know that Ray Aslan saying things like Have you ever seen a more punchable face? Oh yeah. And uh, who was it? Like Kathy, Kathy Griffin, Griffin, which is hilarious because wasn't she like shamed hella hard like for a minute uh, mm. because of her like stand up thing that people didn't like very much about Trump's head and all that sort of shit. Oh yeah, so, right. So it's kind of funny to have her be like, "Hey man, I want names. 
<laughs> names of these kids. Acting all fucking tough. Right. So that was the story. And comes to find out once the full video of what was going on got got posted that there the was full two hour video as opposed right. to like the <clears throat> 45 second clip oh and there. i should mention also they the some of the news outlets actually got that specific uh native american person featured in the video and he went on to say that um, all kinds of stuff that was later not able to be right he he was <laughs> verified. His, his testimony was like he was kind of threatened by these kids and they approached him and one got in his face and it was a very scary and uh, potentially violent situation. Yeah, they were like threatening, and they were uh, they uh, <clears throat> this, uh, this gentleman called the kids like uh, ra- like they were akin to like ravenous animals, and like right. just using rhetoric that was like super over the top. And somebody right? was saying that they were chanting "build the wall, build, build wall, the wall," right? Which actually doesn't even make sense. Like if if I mean, a lot of people wouldn't suspect that like these people are like that MAGA supporters are necessarily like smart if you like listen to media or any of that stuff or whatever, but. Point being, that wouldn't even make any sense. They're like, neighbor, yes, here. build the wall. Yeah, keep you guys in here. Right. Don't go anywhere. Right. But uh, when the full video was posted, the full two-hour video, um, we we kind of saw a very, very different story that, than all of these major news outlets were reporting. Yeah, it turns out the guy kind of walked up to them, and uh, it's not that the kid like stuck his face in there, it was that, you know, this guy kind of got really close to his face. Yes, because there was originally, um, it seemed like there there could have been some weird things going on with... Uh, uh, the third group of it. Right, the third party, right. Yeah, totally. Which is the... Um, I don't know, I'm going to mess up the name too. Exactly. Like, <laughs> the, the, the black Hebrew Israelites, or just the black Israelite... I definitely heard, I mean, I don't know anything about him other than what I heard in the video. Mm. <laughs> I definitely heard some pretty ugly shit in the video. Yeah. They were saying some pretty terrible things pretty to these, to these white, these yeah. young white kids. Yeah. And, and the, like the, the lone black kid that was there or whatever, like he endured some nonsense too. Oh yeah. That yeah. was effed up. Mm-hmm. Like he said things, you know, they said stuff to him that I would prefer not to repeat on, on this particular yeah. uh, broadcast. But uh <clears throat> Just uh, you know, just it's it's it was just a complete one eighty of the story. It mm-hmm. was just uh, it wasn't uh, it was it was a good term that what I've heard before a, a non controversy yeah. instead of a controversy. I like I love that. Like, and the thing was, even after all these truths came out, like some of the some of the media outlets, they doubled down on their story. They didn't yeah. they didn't redact. They didn't yeah. correct. They said like uh, the one that I heard, that sticks out in my mind that was the funniest was that like as like journalists scrambled to like. To, to dissect story, uh, you know, uh, like Republicans pounce or something like that, you know, something along those lines. And it's just like, dude, no, that's not what happened. You guys weren't necessarily trying to get the story. You didn't verify any of the stuff that the guy said, that mm. the Native American gentleman said. Yeah. You know what I mean? You showed a 15, 30, 40 second clip of a two hour long, you know, uh, th- you know, and, and specifically let out, uh, left out the parts um, you know, that showed all the previous engagement with the right. third what, party activists. What is and... any of this stuff going on without, without context? Right, right. And context. we should have, the, the thing, the great thing about this is we should have learned this lesson a long so time long ago. ago dude. A long time so ago, dude. So long ago. Well, you know what it is though, dude? And this is, this is partially our fault. And this is why I wanted to bring this up or whatever. Cause a lot of people can blame the media and, and, and don't, don't get me wrong. They're, 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 they're not without fucking fault. hyenas. Yeah, yeah sure. absolutely. Dude. Like they, they're, they're buzzards and vultures, and, <clears throat> you know, opportunists for sure. But they wouldn't have that opportunity, that job, that ability to sucker us if we weren't so we eager to freaking, yeah, dude, yep. to, to eat it up, dude. It's like, it's like a drug addict. And we don't, we're not even verifying that the bag isn't cut. You know what I mean? We're just snorting it up and <laughs> just, getting just burn holes it. in our nose and shit. And nobody cares. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's fine. Ah, eat people's yeah. faces like I do in Florida. <laughs> So, uh, which was also a uh, never mind. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, was it really? Oh, that wasn't okay. exactly this the, the correct story. Gotcha. All I heard is that he smoked a bunch of freaking uh, bath salts and <laughs> bit somebody's face off, basically. And they were like, "Zombies are attacking in Florida." Yes, exactly. Well, I almost bought it because again, I love zombie <laughs> stuff, and I'm just like, "Oh shit, there it's it happened! It's happened! I get... knew it! I warned you! <laughs> Y'all laughed bag. at me! Get my bag! Get my ammo! <laughs> we're executing plan. Now? We're executing plan C." <laughs> Remember in that time when we got in trouble for math class for playing with zombies? Yeah. Well, who's retarded now? Rendezvous at uh, Point Delta. Yeah, right, right, dude. <laughs> Planning all that shit. So, anyway, yeah, dude. It's uh, it's 
partially the reason why I brought this up too that I was so shocked the reason why I sent it to you actually yeah. is because of, of the phenomenon that happened known as doxing right where these kids got freaking which that's I'm sure people listening now I'm sure you all know what that is because that's a relatively new term for us freaking um, where you basically find through the internet and through digital means you find a person's physical information their address yeah. their home you know all that stuff and freaking um, usually it's used to go pay the person a visit mm-hmm. you know what I mean and which would be bad enough because these kids didn't do anything, neither did their family. And secondly, it, what makes it worse about it is that they they doxed the wrong fucking people, dude. Right. They went to the wrong house, dude. Yeah. Like they went to like a kid that was at the same school, but not at, physically at that right. like confrontation. Mm-hmm. And like <clears throat> dude's like brother was getting married, and like all yeah. these fucking people were showing up and like harassing the wrong yeah, totally. Family. And of course, the family has no idea what's going on because right. the news story hasn't has barely broke. Exactly. You know what I mean? So you got these lunatics showing up or whatever, screaming, and you of course you're confused. You have no idea, and you what's can't that? like logically talk to a bunch of screaming lunatics. What's that Churchill quote? He says something like, uh, uh, "The lie travels uh, halfway around the world before, before the, the truth, truth even gets a, gets a chance to get the pants on." Yeah, it's so fucking <laughs> true, dude. It goes so far and fast because it's sensationalism. People yeah. love it. They eat that shit up, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eat it up. Mm. Mm. More, please. Mm. Some well, more 90210 or fucking, <laughs> what was it? Uh, 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 what was that stupid one? Uh, Mer- Melrose Place. <laughs> Hell, dating myself. <laughs> I think the show's got canceled when I was like in my teens. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, <clears throat> yeah, it's just, it was just interesting because we were making this, this topic of fake news and this. You know, this story, this this story breaks. Yes, at the same time. totally. So that's, that's another reason why I wanted to jump it up in the like, in the categories, yeah. uh, 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 you know, thing because uh, it was just so relevant. I was like, holy god! Like, it, yeah. and and other stuff happened too. Like I was telling you earlier, the whole like Kavanaugh gang rapist thing. They didn't mm-hmm. verify that before they released it, and right. that dude, I could have told totally ruined his career, lives, dude. Yeah, and then he's yeah. like, oh, that's okay. She, and she's like, oh, it's all right. I went there nine more times. That's totally fine. Mm-hmm. Or other things, you know, with this like BuzzFeed article or just anything like that, dude. And people, it's so funny. They're like, oh. Well, they make mistakes all the time. And that's true. Media makes sure. mistakes, dude. That's fine. But, you know, how often do people get, like, fired or whatever? How mm. often do freaking heads really roll? And if they're low enough, they'll roll a little bit just to appease some people. Kind of right. like the mob or, you know, the government working with the mob. Going like, all right, all right, we'll turn over this one drug Or the dealer. CIA scapegoats that yeah, we talked for about real, you know, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, Anti-Castro Cubans. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Um so yeah, dude, and it's just uh, it's uh, you know, and there's a there's a small list that I have that we're gonna briefly mention uh, later, um, where I kind of just mentioned some high profile journalists that uh, did did some did some some major fuckery, and you know, none of them really got fired or reprimanded really or whatever. A few, a few of them did, but uh, for the well, most part, it's 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 unaccounted. Just as you you know, tale is old, tale is old as time. So uh, <clears throat> I thought this was an interesting topic. Uh, not only because we sort of, we kind of led into it from, from the last episode, kind of, if you remember, you know, with uh, Mockingbird, that was a big thing about yes. intentionally, you know, misleading and yes, yeah, construing the truth, uh, con- construing, I think that's the word, <laughs> con- beef stewing, Distort- <laughs> distorting the truth or just straight up lying. You know, getting getting these stories out in the wild, coming into these new organizations to affect public just opinion, taking over basically, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, I'm not really sure where this is going to fit in, but, uh, I, <clears throat> I first learned about fake news as a, as a young boy reading, uh, Lemony Snicket books oh. <laughs> because, you know, in that, in that series, it talks about, um, there's a, there's a newspaper and it's just constantly printing all these terrible fake stories. You know, they, there's not really any evidence in it. You can actually see in the books of people listening to these stories and eating them up and, and reaction just immediate it, reactions. Yeah. Oh, these people horrible. are horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, we yeah, should yeah. do this. We should we should totally. kill people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We should get an action committee crazy, together. Yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. grab your pitchforks. Totally. The emotional appeal is very right. strong. And that people. that was very um was very jarring to me as a young kid. I was like, I don't people do that? Man. Yeah. Like that's this is totally this is That's fake. a good point. I don't remember where <clears> my <throat> first like realization, my my first destruction of childhood innocence uh-huh. where it came as far as like that whole thing of like so people I snuck lied, in to see eyes wide shut. People like right, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, great movie though. Uh, you got to say the movie like three times. There's like so many times that they're just like pointing out. You're just like, good God, that's didn't see that part before. Wow, she's a she's a child prostitute. Jesus Christ, this movie's horrible. <laughs> Tip of the hat, Stanley Kubrick. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I don't remember when in my life 
uh, I kind of conjoined the fact that people lie and then multiply that to a gigantic end of the spectrum in the sense that, um, you know, whole political parties yeah. or you know, whole countries fucking mm-hmm. lie. You know what I mean? That, yeah. was, that was crazy, man. Like, how could you do that? That's so hard. Like, right. and it's really not. Like, I mean, depending on what you're trying to make them believe, yeah. obviously. But um, in the right, like, settings and circumstances, dude, it's really not all that, like, difficult. Because, like you said, like, if you have that baseline logic of, like, s- uh, uh, psychology mm-hmm. as far as the basic human being and what, like, they respond to or whatever, yeah. you just basically got to push the right buttons, dude. And, mm-hmm. and for the most part, people will respond. Right. And you know the, I mean? the scary thing is over time, we have gotten better and better at it because we have all these examples of, yeah. oh, well, this is how people reacted. So we know exactly how this is going to go if we do this and this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like we have like scientific data yeah. on, on these phenomena now. Like, yeah. Uh, and there's actually a, a point I want to make on, on something I'm sure we're going to touch on based on that. But there, was a, want... there was a scientific phenomenon that I wanted to actually briefly talk about, which was that uh, that three i can't remember what it's called but it's that three lines test where they everybody is in on it except for one person mm. and they're all like oh yeah this line's shorter but it's clearly longer right and they're trying to get the person who's the control of the study mm. trying to be like uh, or the experiment rather trying to get them to be coerced coerced socially mm. through peer pressure to right. be like oh yeah 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 no no, no I, totally... I think the same thing yeah. okay yeah, right. yeah 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 exactly so for sure that's definitely being applied to like uh, you know, just through the media, basically, mm-hmm. like there, it's it's applying to that. Like, oh, I don't want to be left out. I don't, don't want to be socially ostracized. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. I didn't mean to cut you off earlier. <laughs>